So how is Agile different to other methodologies or ways of doing things? Well, it's different in many ways. For example, in traditional project delivery, you would start off with an analysis phase, which would take a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Then you would move to a design and spend again a couple of weeks or months. And then you would actually develop or code. After that process, you would pass it on to the QA team for testing and you would move to production at the end, after testing. So traditionally, in a lot of project management and project delivery methodologies, you wouldn't move on from one phase to the other until that phase has been completed, until milestones and deliverables have been met and signed off. You would also ensure that scope doesn't change and keep that as constrained as possible. Since varying scope would actually translate in the project taking even longer than originally planned. And finally, in traditional development, you would work on the final solution from the very beginning, the Ferrari. The long-term vision, the product with all the bells and whistles. But you wouldn't do any of this in Agile. In Agile, you would actually test from the very beginning, not just at the end. You would also plan and analyze every two weeks or every time you finish your sprint. And you would deliver iteratively, often, and quickly. You would also embrace changes in scope when reasonable and required. Since you're working iteratively and building products along the way, you're able to provide more flexibility to your end user and customer and involve them in the development process from the beginning. This is one of the most important advantages of Agile and a reason why so many business owners, stakeholders, and customers love it. They have direct input in the development process and they do it from the beginning and they do it often, not just at the end. Another thing that makes Agile different is that Agile focuses more on the actual work than on documentation. Now, please don't misinterpret this and leave this course with the misconception that Agile doesn't involve documentation. Agile also requires documentation, but documentation is not the main focus. It's kept short and simple since the team needs to focus more on the work than on paper. In Agile, roles blur, and by that, I mean that, for example, everyone in the team can be involved in testing, not just the people that would normally do it because that's their official role, tester, or test lead. So, since in Agile you're testing and planning every step of the way, well, most team members get involved. That doesn't mean that everyone has to test or their Agile dictates that. It doesn't. Some Agile projects still use the official roles for team assignments and tasks, and that's fine. The point you need to understand is that Agile can allow for roles to blur and overlap or complement one another, and that's okay. People embrace this in Agile and support each other to ensure the team's success. Now, in terms of planning, well, planning is adaptive in Agile, and priorities can change for each sprint depending on what the team defines. And finally, in Agile, requirements can change, and the team is open to those changes. That doesn't mean that Agile dictates that that you should change requirements. It just means that the team considers something no longer a priority, well, it can be discoped. For example, say you are working on that e-commerce website and after sprint two, you show a demo to the product owner, which is your customer or a person who represents him or her, and that person now says that they no longer want to have product displayed vertically, but now horizontally. In traditional project delivery, you might say, well, you signed off on vertical at the beginning, and now it's too late to make that change. But in Agile, you would say to your customer, sure, by the end of the next sprint, we will have another demo and show you the changes, the improvements. Given scope is varying, you might negotiate with the product owner about some of the user stories of the next sprint and move them to the next one, or maybe remove them so that you can actually deliver and meet their expectations. See the difference? That's Agile. And that is why people love it. It's powerful.